float an image to the right? In other words, right here, see this image right here? How would I float that over? How would I move it over to the right hand side over here and have it sort of float inside there the way that on this page you've got this image floating on this side and then all the text is kind of nicely wrapping around it on this side. Um, to do this, we're going to, there's, there's actually a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you what I think is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, I'm going to create a class. Um, we created classes in a previous uh, screencast where we created a lowercase and an uppercase class. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a class that I can apply to elements that will make them float to the right. Okay, so uh, a good name, I can name it anything I want. I think a logical name would be just right. Okay, and I'm going to close that. And the attribute that I'm going to use here is the float attribute. I'm going to say float, and I'm just going to say float right. Okay, so I've created a class, and now whenever I apply this class to something on my in my HTML, it should make that item, that element, float to the right. So let's see if this works. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to go to this image because the image, let's take a look here. The image, right? this image right here is the image that we want to float over to the right. So what do I do here? What do you think I do? Well, I've got all these attribute values here. There's nothing wrong with adding an extra um, attribute value pair. Uh, you can add it anywhere you want. I'm just going to maybe add it to the top right here and say class equals, and the name of the class that we just created was right. Right, correct. All right, um, and so what we're doing, what should happen is it should apply the, the, the behavior, you know, that we defined in the right class to this image. So let's see if that works. I hit save, and I'm gonna go ahead and reload, and let's see what happens. There we go, it's floating over there. Now, we have a bit of an issue right here. What's happening is that this element is overlapping this section right here. So we need to actually do a little bit, a few more tweaks to our code. Um, specifically, what we need to do is we need to get that, that um, this element down here to clear that element up here. And so fortunately, it's fairly simple to do. Let's go back to our text wrangler here, and this is gonna be something we do in CSS. Um, I'm just going to, under priority here, I want to make sure that the priority button, the priority area never overlaps any elements above it. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm just going to use the clear attribute, and I'm gonna say both, and both ref ref uh, refers to l anything on the left side and on the right side up above it, I want it to clear it, okay? Um, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but trust me, it should work. Let's hit save, and let's reload, and we're looking for this yellow part to clear that area down here, and let's see if that works. There we go. I just pushed it down so that no matter what, it clears it. And so now I can I can move this around. Everything is staying in, in relatively the right location. That makes me very happy. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, there are different ways to make elements float around. Um, that's a really easy way, just creating a, a float right class and then applying it to that image that you want to float. Okay. I hope that that's been helpful to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.